All stations on countdown one. We're at T minus 15 minutes, tracking one issue on flight software and one question on weather. Other than that, all systems go. Please stand by. All stations count down one, software's go. Good morning from the SpaceX TestCast studio at our headquarters in Hawthorne, California. I'm John Innsbrucker, and I'll be bringing you commentary on today's first test flight of the Crew Dragon spaceship. Today's test is the pad abort test, taking place from our launch pad at Complex 40 on Cape Canaveral. It's currently just over 14 minutes until the planned launch time. Flight is scheduled to occur at 9 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time or 1 p.m. Universal Time. Currently, the Dragon team is go for launch. They are conducting their final evaluations, and we'll hear a readiness poll coming up at T-13 minutes. Weather appears to be acceptable, but we continue to watch cloud levels and possibility of lightning in the area. Today's window extends several hours, though, so if we have a weather problem or other schedule issue, we should have time to be able to take a crack at a launch at a later time. SpaceX conducted a successful static fire of the spaceship yesterday on the 5th of May. Following a review of the data from that test, the SpaceX launch director gave the go to proceed with today's flight. Most recently, we've done the Dragon radio frequency checks at just over half an hour before launch, and we've gone into final configuration for flight at T minus 25 minutes. With that, let's listen to the launch conductor poll of the team at T minus 13 minutes. All stations, going to go for terminal count, beginning with Mission Assurance. Mission Assurance is go. DC. DC is go for terminal count. GC. GC is go. Sys 1. Sys 1 is go. Sys 2. Sys 2 is go. CC. CC go. Nav. Nav is go. Flight software. Flight software, go. Mission software. Mission software is go. IT. IT is go. Recovery. Recovery, go. RC. RC, go. OSM. OSM, go. Rock. Rock is go. LD. LD is go, pending that we uh, resolve our range weather uh, field mill rule here and uh, we don't violate it in the near term. Copy. LC is go. DC, you are go to enable the terminal count auto sequence. If a no-go is required, we will call within the time to protect. T minus 3 minutes, 30 seconds. All stations, terminal count auto sequence is enabled. Well, you've heard launch conductor poll the team for their readiness for test coming up at just over 11 minutes and 45 seconds from now. Launch director is looking at one uh, possible constraint. Uh, you heard, may have heard the term field mill. They're looking at the uh, charged atmosphere around the launch complex, uh, the lightning concern that I talked about earlier. They're evaluating that right now, so we should hear some more shortly. Uh, if we go into the terminal count sequence uh, leading down to zero, and we do have to hold, then we'll just recycle back to possibly around T minus 20 minutes, evaluate conditions, and then attempt again. So let's listen into the countdown net uh, and see if we continue into terminal count. If a hold is called from this point forward, the terminal count auto sequence will be aborted. 
Indicate an abort or hold condition by saying hold, hold, hold on the primary countdown net, countdown one. In this event, the DC will immediately abort the auto sequence. The DC shall not abort the auto sequence after T minus 10 seconds, and operators shall not call a hold after T minus 10 seconds. If a hold is called, all operators proceed to the contingency terminal count abort steps in section 10.17. Stand by to pick up the count. T minus 10 minutes and counting on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. DC, verify that terminal count auto sequence has started. Terminal count auto sequence has begun. GC, stand by on FireX. GC, standing by. RC, start tracking camera video recorders. Affirmative. Valve and pyro boards are enabled. Ethernet data recorder is on. IMU alignment has started. We're at T minus eight minutes and 19 seconds until the uh, test of the first crew dragon. Today's flight is part of SpaceX's commercial crew contract with NASA. It's the first flight test of the launch abort system featuring the use of the eight Super Draco thrusters. Today's test will be short in duration. Following a terminal countdown, which we're in the middle of right now, Dragon will fire its launch abort system. All eight Super Draco thrusters will ignite for five seconds, burning the nitrogen tetroxide and hydrazine rocket propellant. This will carry the Dragon capsule and its trunk away from the launch pad, simulating an abort from a launch vehicle. The eight engines, built by SpaceX, will generate 120,000 pounds of thrust, or over half a million newtons of force. In five seconds, the trunk and capsule will be a kilometer above the pad, heading out to an offshore landing in the Atlantic Ocean. Dragon will coast for another 16 seconds. In a T plus 21 seconds, the trunk will be jettisoned from the capsule. This frees up the Crew Dragon capsule to rotate and point its heat shield towards the ground. The heat shield, as on our cargo Dragon flights, is protected by the trunk until it is jettisoned. 25 seconds into flight, the drogue parachutes will be deployed, followed by the main parachutes at 35 seconds into flight. Then finally, Dragon should splash down just offshore from the launch pad at approximately 1 minute and 47 seconds after launch. Splashdown will be about 2.2 kilometers from the pad. Now this is the first test, as I said, of the SpaceX Crew Dragon spaceship. We're not carrying people on this flight. However, there is an instrumented dummy on board which will allow us to collect data on forces experienced during the flight. This data combined with the instrumentation throughout the Crew Dragon vehicle, helps SpaceX ensure the safety of human passengers on our future missions. Currently, we're coming up on T-minus six minutes. Dragon spacecraft has begun the transfer to internal power. We've also heard that the weather constraints are go for the test, coming up right at the top of the hour. So with that, we're going to go back and listen into the countdown net at T-minus six minutes as we go through the last minutes on the first test of the Crew Dragon spaceship.
T minus five minutes. T minus four minutes. Accurator is high. TDOS is recording. Video encoders are on. GoPro camera recording has been triggered. This is not one we go for launch. This is a transient current on TDOS. Cabin fans are off. ACQD disconnected and gas flow closed out. LD verify. Go for launch. LD is go for SpaceX paddleboard test. Dragon is in countdown, T minus 58 seconds. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 20. Power deployment is nominal. 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
launch. Lift off. Right now, 150 meters per second. Slightly below nominal. We're over one kilometer. Trunk deploy. Drugs look good. That's Sequencing the mains. Passing through 600 meters. Downrange distance. Trunks now is purple. Hang tight, everyone. As you saw and heard, we've had a successful test of the Crew Dragon vehicle. You can see it right now uh, just offshore, as we expected, in the water. Main parachutes uh, floating in the surf. The recovery team will be headed out right now to pick up the Dragon. Currently, we do not have any cameras on the recovery boat, so this is going to end the test cast for today. Please follow us on social media for updates and photos from today's test of the Crew Dragon spaceship. With that, we'd like to close with a thanks to our NASA customer and to the Air Force Eastern Range for support. And we invite you to follow us in June when SpaceX conducts the next flight of Falcon 9 and Dragon to the International Space Station. Signing off until then, have a good day.